When uh, Indiana Jones first strode into the Peruvian rainforest back in 1936, at the beginning of the Raiders of the Lost Ark in 1981, it was clear to me that he had the coolest job on earth. It is a real honor to give the floor to the Vice Chair of Conservation International, Mr. Harrison Ford. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very honored to be here today, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to address you. We've been talking about saving the Amazon for 30 years. Almost 30 years ago, Sting held a concert to save the Amazon right here in New York, and we're still talking about it. The world's largest rainforest, the Amazon, is crucial to any climate change solution for its capacity to sequester carbon, for its biodiversity, for its fresh water, for the air we breathe, for our morality. And it is on fire. When a room in your house is on fire, you don't say there's a fire in a room in my house. You say my house is on fire and we only have one house. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Greed is winning the battle for the Amazon. And what we've done to preserve the Amazon, what we've worked so hard for, is being purposefully undone. We need to protect what we have. We need to restore what we have lost, and we need to defund the mechanisms, the perverse tax subsidies, the lending policies, and the institutional investments that fuel deforestation. It's understood that the protection <laughs> it is understood that the protection and preservation of tropical forests can achieve at least 30% of the emissions reductions we need to protect the planet. On behalf, my goodness, I'm so sorry. In the movies, we get to do it over. And without the Amazon, without securing the largest standing tropical forest in the world, we cannot achieve a climate solution, and nothing else we do will matter. Thanks to the Letitia Pact, a framework for recognizing and protecting the valuable forest and its peoples, signed by the governments of Guyana, Suriname, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, and Brazil, there is a way forward. Thank you, President Duque, for your uh, leadership in, for, in uh, formulating the pact. But this initiative, this pact, must have funding. It must have teeth. It must have legislative legitimacy. Conservation International has been working in Amazon, Amazonia for over 30 years. And we are here now to stand with you to put funding, to put teeth in this ambition. President Macron, we're sincerely grateful to the French government, which has committed to investing in this effort with a $100 million contribution. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's a great start. It is a great start, but it is not enough. On behalf of Conservation International, I'm honored to announce that we are committing an additional $20 million in funding. But we can't do it alone. We need all the help that we can get. 
This money must go directly to indigenous people and civil society. The people on the front lines, the people on the ground, the people with their feet in the mud. Our efforts will have effect. We will make great progress. And we are not alone. There's a new force of nature at hand, stirring all over the world. They are the young people whom, frankly, we have failed, who are angry, who are organized, who are capable of making a difference. They are a moral army. And the most important thing that we can do for them is to get the hell out of their way.